hello everyone here we have to discuss about the microprocessor square wave generator and uh, we know that the microprocessor is the cpu of computer and it has lot of applications and uh, we have the experimental setup here and we have to make square wave using uh, microprocessor so for producing the square wave they which have certain program that uh, program and the theory behind this and that all we are going to discuss and first of all the aim of this program or aim of this experiment write ALP and execute using 8085 kit for generating a square wave of desired frequency using a programmable peripheral interface 8055 observe the output and measure the frequency so here we have to use the 8085 setup and which is internally which is internally uh, fabricated with A255 uh, so uh, we are using here the theory of A085 and A255 how A255 is interfacing with uh, A085 and how uh, collectively both of this how produce a square wave that is all the thing that we are going to discuss in this experiment so this is the aim to produce a square wave of desired frequency that is the aim so uh, we are going to make uh, such a desired frequency square wave so we more we are going to the theory and first of all we have to discuss about what is 8085 and uh, what is the function and how it act as the cpu of computer so 8085 is generally pronounced as 8085 microprocessor and uh, it is an 8-bit microprocessor designed by Intel that is why we are calling it as Intel 8085 and uh, it is it is uh, designed in 1977 using NMOS technology and it is a, which is a 8-bit data bus uh, which has a 8-bit data bus and a 16-bit address bus and 16-bit uh, program counter 16-bit stack pointer uh, these all are the special purpose register that we will discuss in architecture and uh, six uh, re general purpose registers like uh, b c d e h l and uh, which require a vcc of positive 5 volt supply and uh, clock cycle 3.2 megahertz and the clock speed is about uh, 3 megahertz uh, sorry uh, the clock cycle is about 320 nanosecond and addition to this uh, which include the 8085 include having the 80 instruction that you will discuss in the theory paper 80 instruction and is uh, there's an instruction set for 8085 and after that which have 246 op codes and these all are the additional configuration of 8085 and 8085 consists of uh, following functional unit accumulator and which is uh, it's an 8-bit register used to perform arithmetic and logical uh, operations uh, and uh, of course the accumulator will act as one of the operand in the operation and uh, uh, which will store the temporary data or uh, the temporary result in accumulator itself and uh, the second unit is arithmetic and logic unit and arithmetic and logic unit uh, perform the arithmetic and logical operation like addition subtraction multiplication division logical operation like an and or xor that kind of operations are done by using arithmetic and logic unit and uh, next one is general purpose register we have six general purpose register b c d e h l and generally uh, some of them occur as pair b and c uh, collectively uh, make a 16-bit register pair and DE collectively make a 16-bit register pair and H and L produce a register pair that is also a 16-bit register pair so the register can work in pair to hold 16-bit data and their pairing combination is like BC, D, BC, DE and H L and uh, the program counter program counter is generally known as pc and the specification of pc and which is the special purpose register and it has 16 bit it's a 16 bit register also it uh, store the next instruction to be executed that is the speciality of program counter 
and stack point is the, it is the uh, collection of uh, it's the collection of memory locations called stack and it is also a special purpose register and it is a 16 bit register so the special purpose register mm -hmm. is not accessed by user it is accessing by the microprocessor itself so we cannot program or we cannot change we cannot make changes in a program counter or stack pointer like special purpose register and temporary register is there which is an 8 bit register which holds the temporary data and uh, there are flag registers for uh, 8085 the flag registers include sign flag zero flag auxiliary flag uh, parity flag and carry flag and the figure which is corresponds to the 8 bit representation are given here and d0 correspond to carry flag and d2 correspond to parity flag and d4 correspond to auxiliary carry flag zero correspond to zero as uh, d 6 correspond to zero flag and d7 correspond to sign flag and there are instruction registers and decoder the instruction registers receive the instruction and uh, after that uh, the instruction decoder decoder decode the instruction after decoding it is given to the timing and control unit and actually the timing and control unit is generally known as the cpu or main part of the cpu so which produce some kind of control signal or timing signal which include control signal status signal dma signal reset signal and there are the interrupt controls uh, the interrupt the most common interrupt in 8085 or intr reset uh, restart 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and trap and it here the trap have the highest priority between this five interrupt signals there are serial interrupt out so serial input control and serial output control which is shortly known as sid and sod and uh, which, uh, which having address buffer and data buffer address bus and data bus which is 16 bit that we will discuss in architecture and this is the architecture of intel 8085 the, you can see an 8-bit internal data bus which is horizontally placed and to that uh, to that horizontally placed the data bus uh, we are connecting the accumulator uh, which is bidirectional and temporary register flip-flop uh, flip-flop means the status flags and instruction register and uh, following to the instruction register there is instruction decoder and which is connected to timing and control unit Accumulator and temporary register are connected to oh, the arithmetic and logical unit and the result is put back inside the uh, internal data bus mm, and there are the general purpose register and uh, like BCDEHL and also the special purpose registers like uh, stack pointer, program counter, increment or decrement counter and there is uh, data buffer and address buffer these all include the architecture of Intel 805 that we use, that we will discuss in the, the theory papers and this is the pin diagram of 8085 uh, generally the 8085 is a 40 pin IC package uh, <coughs> and uh, this is the explanation of this pin diagram first one, first one is address bus A8 to A15 the first A8 to A15 which is bidirectional and uh, next one is data bus ad0 to ad7 it carries the least significant 8-bit address data bus uh, control and status signal which include the three status signal uh, we have three status signals like uh, read write and ale read write and ale is the arithmetic uh, sorry ale is the address slash enable so there are three status signals uh, like uh, IO bar M, uh, SO, uh, and S1. And IO bar M bar, um, uh, IO bar M bar, IO bar M bar is the this is signal is used to differentiate between IO and memory operation. And if it is the IO operation, the IO bar is high, and it is the memory operation in memory operation in memory uh, is high and S1 and S0 these signals are used to identify the type of current operation 
and uh, the power which include the power supply which is plus 5 volt clock cycle clock signal is uh, there are three clock signal x1 x2 clock out and uh, interrupt and externally initiated si signals uh, they include in INTA interrupt acknowledgement uh, INTR is of course INTR and uh, reset in reset out ready hold uh, hold acknowledgement these all are the interrupt and externally initiated signal and serial IO signals include SID and SOD that we discussed earlier <coughs> And we have to discuss about the 8255 also. 8255 is the multiport device and which is a programmable peripheral interface. If you want to, uh, programmable peripheral interface, if you want to uh, uh, interface some peripheral device to 8085 kit, we are using the 8255 as a programmable peripheral interface, which is a multiport device. Uh, generally the 8255 has uh, three ports which is which including a uh, port a port b and port c and port c can be split into two uh, that is port c upper and port c lower which is four bit each and uh, there are three modes of operation there are three modes of operation in 8255 first one is mode zero in mode zero the port a b and c each of the bit are uh, set as input or output and that is why it is called as symbol input or output and mode 1 operation in mode 1 operation uh, only a and b port are set as input and output port uh, that is why it is called a stopped input or output port and in which the pc0 uh, PC1 and PC3 uh, pins are used to control port B and PC3, PC4 and PC5 pin are used to control con uh, control port A. So next one is mode 2 operation. In mode 2 operation which is only for port A, the port A is set as input or output. In mode 2 operation, the other ports, port B and port C are used as, uh, uh, port B and port C are uh, operating in mode 0 or mode 1. <coughs> and this is the pin diagram of A255. Here only we use in this experiment in we are only use the 26 pins. This is actually 40 pin IC package. We are only using the 26 pins of this, uh, which include the for three ports, which having 24 pin. And along with that, we are using VCC and ground. These two pin also included with this. Uh, so uh, all total we are only require 26 pins for this experiment and which also have the data buffer d0 to d7 and uh, read or write control logic um, and uh, chip select or of course the chip select which allow the communication between 8085 and 8255 and uh, the uh, result of this result depend on the following conditions like cs is 0 0 0 and a0 and a1 which is address signal uh, and 0 0 correspond to port a and 0 1 correspond to port b and 1 0 correspond to port c and 1 1 correspond to control register and if there is uh, no defined signals the, then this no selection and this is the program for square wave generator and first of all, the in the program that include, uh, we are starting the program from eight uh, eight thousand memory address eight thousand. And uh, first of all, we are uh, pr introducing the mnemonics LXI. That is uh, the instruction that is used to load into a certain memory location or certain uh, memory pairs. And here the LXI is used to, uh, used to load in stack pointer a two double zero and corresponding machine code is written here and then move it into the uh, accumulator to control a to get a control word 98h and after that uh, which is the port is initialized that instruction is out 03 and after that 
MVI A zero zero H. So uh, first of all, the accumulator is set as the low that is correspond to zero zero, and after that, uh, the port is mic PB zero low, the out zero one, and uh, after that, a call a delay, a call a delay to work. Call delay to eight one double zero that you can see under the machine code. Uh, call delay called to eight one zero zero. There you can start the subroutine here eight one zero zero. And uh, from subroutine uh, load zero a into uh, the hexadecimal number which is correspond to decimal value ten and that. Ten value is uh, loaded into B, and after that decrement the B and uh, jump to the loop two. Gen Z is the instruction which correspond to jump, and then return, and return to work. Return to eight zero zero E location, and uh, memory location is uh, and accumulator is loaded with uh, zero one, and which is the uh, which is correspond to high, and uh, port is initialized. And delay a uh, delay is called to eight one zero seven. And second delay is called to the location sub into the subroutine eight one zero seven. That is uh, in eight one zero seven the port B port C is loaded with zero A and then decrement uh, C after that uh, jump to the loop three and return to the return to the main program and uh, after that uh, returning the main program the second cycle is returned after that jump uh, jump to the loop one and this process continues and uh, finally at the memory location 80 memory address 8018 we are uh, calling halt which is covered the machine code corresponding to this is uh, 76 this is all about the program of uh, square wave generator and we have to discuss about the calculation of t state and we already told that there are there is an upper half and a lower half for uh, square wave so first um, this is the calculation of t state first of all mba out call these are the program MVA out and call these are the programs uh, that we do for square wave generation and after that MVA DCR JNZ return these all are the subroutine and uh, correspond to uh, the operand is written here and uh, MVA having 7 T state and out having 10 T state and call having 18 T state and move having 7 t state and dcr having 4 and jnz having 10 bar 7 which means the first um, all the j all the jump all the jump except the last jump uh, having the value 10 and last jump having the value 7 that is the meaning of this 10 bar 7 and return having 10 uh, t state and the second cycle also in the same repetition of this uh, t state and number of execution the mva is loaded to a 0 0 is loaded to a only once and uh, uh, out only one and number of time executed that we are discussing and number mva is loaded once and out is only for one and delay is only once called and b is loaded with zero a b is loaded with zero a that is why we are putting the value of decrement as 10 because uh, 10 times b is loaded so uh, 10 times we ha it have to decrement and the jnz is also 10 and uh, return is uh, for once and this is the uh, total number of t state this is nothing but 7 into 1 equal to 7 10 into 1 equal to 10 and like that kind of this and total we are getting uh, 189 189 uh, total we are getting 189 t number of execution number of t state uh, total we are getting 189 number of t state for one cycle so here we have two cycles so uh, double the 189 we get 
378 so we have to get total time period for total time period we are multiplying 378 with the clock cycle 320 nanosecond that is how we are getting t equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 second this is the time period of square wave generator and we can measure the frequency we can compare the frequency uh, frequency equal to 1 by t that is equal to that is almost about 8267 kilohertz 8.267 kilohertz so we can measure the observed t from the CRO that is the output of us and this is how this is the whole method that we are doing to produce a square wave using microprocessor and uh, that's all about my topic thank you